Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG here, and we're about to bust open a booster box of Hour of Devastation, and I figured I'm just going to share it with you guys because I know how much you love cracking packs and how much I love cracking packs, so let's do it together. This is going to be the first booster box I've cracked of this set. So I'm kind of excited. Um, interesting stuff in this set. Uh, there's not a whole lot of EV for the boxes, but uh, I'm fine with that. Um, you know, I, I don't crack boxes to make a bunch of money. <laughs> uh, I crack boxes because it's just fun. So, anyways, let's go ahead and start this off. We got our stacks nice and organized, and let's go ahead and start cracking these. Per usual, we're going to go ahead and skip past the uh, commons, and we're going to get straight to the uncommons, the good stuff you want to see. And we'll go like that. All right, we have Magmaroth, Vizier of the True, Vizier of the Anointed, and Dream Stealer. This actually, this guy did a lot of work on me uh, during pre-release. So, yeah. Speaking of which, how was your pre-release? Anything crazy, crazy pulls? Uh, you know, how was your record? Did you just get a, a lot of synergy? Speaking of synergy and pulls, this guy was ridiculous during release. Um, I felt things were running a little bit slower, and you could afford to play cards like this. I thought he was great. So we have Sifter Worm, Crook of Condemnation, Banewit Punisher. This was another really good one, I thought, and Hour of Eternity is our rare. So yeah, I would like to know how your pre-releases went. We have Imaginary Threats, Resolute Survivors, Overcome, that was pretty good too, and ref Refuse and Cooperate. And the Sinuous Striker, uh, Eternalized Token thing. All right, we have another Magmaroth, Desert's Hold, Eternal of the Harsh Truths, and Hour of Revelation. There we go. Nice little board wipe. Those are always fun. One too far. All right, we have Ipnu Riv Rivlet, if I pronounce that right. Torment of Scarabs, Burning Fist Minotaur, he was so good, and Amit Eternal, he was also really good during pre-release, uh, I had fun with him, uh, my Saturday morning event, um, I just, it was ridiculous, the red black I, ha I had built, it was uh, aggro all the way, it was just all sorts of fun. We have Jace's Defeat, River Hoopy, Hoopo, River Hoopo, the bird, there we go. We have Do Devotee of Strength and Resilient Kenra. Alright, we have Fervent Paincaster, Gideon's Defeat, Ominous Sphinx, and Leave and Chance. And we did get a foil, God Pharaoh's Faithful. I just realized I'm kind of crooked here. Oh well. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can get. All right, we have Crypt of the Eternals, Liliana's defeat, a braid, and Swarm Intelligence. And I know the EV for this set is, is rather low, um, but I don't know. We're still having fun here, right? We have Appeal and Authority, Devotee of Strength, Shafet Dunes, and Abandoned Sarcophagus. Uh, this one's going to be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see if some people can come up with some interesting decks around that, with cycling being the big thing now. Oh, we got a sneak peek. We got a foil in here. 
We have Manticore Eternal, Steward of Solidarity, Riddle Form, and Hour of Glory and a Foil, Merciless Eternal. There we go. Alright, we have another Crypt of the Eternals. A Cursed Horde, Sand Strangler, and Fraying Sanity. We have Appeal in Authority, Dune Diviner, Dagger of the Worthy, and Scavenger Grounds. This through my three pre-releases and my prize packs, I think I've got like four or five of these, at least one foil too, so. Interesting. I do like the art on it though. All right, we are into our second of three stacks. Try to get through this so I'm not boring you guys with uh, too much banter. We have Manticore Eternal, Unconventional Tactics, Visir of Anointed, and Grind and Dust. We have Heshep Oasis, Accursed Horde, Sand Strangler, and Kefnut's Last Word, and a Foil Torment of Venom. That one actually came in kind of handy as well during pre-release. Um, I like all these options they're giving you now for your opponents to choose for all the bad stuff that could happen to them. We have Appeal and Authority. Tenacious Hunter, Dunes of the Dead, Hazaret's Undying Fury, and a foil rare, uh, Ruminup Excavator. That's kind of nice. Alright, we have Angel of the God Pharaoh. Riddle form, Obelisk Spider. I am building something around him right now. And we have Omer Overwhelming Splendor, our first Mythic of the Box. <sighs> this card got used against me during the Saturday main event. And let me tell you, it just, there is nothing more disheartening than having a solid battlefield and then this being played. It just, it, it's a bad feeling. <laughs> oh. All right, we have the Ipnu Rivlet, Accursed Horde, Inferno Jet, and Dijuru with Eyes Open. I believe I pronounced that right. If not, I'm very sorry. All right, we have Farm and Market. That one was pretty good during pre-release. Another Shifter Worm. I love that guy. Dagger of the Worthy, and our second Mythic, the Scarab God. Yeah, he's not too bad either. Uh, I wound up pulling a Scorpion God during pre-release. Um, and that was just, he was ridiculous too. I mean, unless you exile him, it was, all right, cool, go ahead and kill him. He's just coming back next turn. All right, we have Gideon's Defeat. Ominous Sphinx, Claim and Fame, and Champion of Wits. All right, we have Merciless Eternal, a braid, saving grace, and our third mythic, the Locust God. That guy's pretty good too. Yeah. All right. Well, the second pile is uh, turn out to be a lot better than that first pile. All right. We have Bloodwater Entity, Sifter Worm, If Near Deadlands, and Rona's Last Stand. We have Steward of Solidarity, 
Supreme Will, Struggle and Survive, and Oketra's Last Mercy, and then a Foil Traveler's Amulet. I will take that. Alright, getting towards the end of the second one, second stack here. We have Doomfall, Burning Fist Minotaur, Sun Scourge Champion, and Nimble Obstructionist. And then another foil, a foil Dreamcaster. Sweet, two foil rares. Last pack of the second pile. We still have a whole other pile to go. We have Hope Tender, Dunes of the Dead, Bane Whip Punisher, and Fraying Sanity. All right, let's see what kind of luck we can get in this third stack. So far, nothing, uh, nothing over the top, but I'm just definitely not a bad box. We have Unconventional Tactics, Jace's Defeat, Unraveling Mummy, so good, and Hour of Promise, and is that our, really our first full art land? Let me go back through here and double check. Now I think about it, yeah, have we gotten any other full art lands? That's kind of odd for this far into the box. It really, I think it is. That is our first. <laughs> That's odd. Anyways, <laughs> next pack. We have Merciless Eternal, Sand Strangler, Vizier of the True, and Hollow One. That guy's going to be fun too. Oh. Well, the full arts were in this bottom of the second stack here. All right. We have Nissa's Defeat, Dunes of the Dead, Vile Manifestation, and God Pharaoh's Gift. And another full art. That's interesting. Oh, we got the horse token. Yeah, God Pharaoh's Gift. Um... <laughs> I was really looking forward to that card, and then we got it, and it's like, uh, no, I guess so. <laughs> All right, we have Steward of Solidarity, Sinua Striker, Consign to Oblivion, and Rumin' Up Excavator, and a Foil Fervent Paincaster, and a Full Art Planes. I guess it was busted up by the box. Look at that. Four packs in a row with full arts. Interesting. All right, we have Manticore Eternal, Doomfall, Sun Scourge Champion, and our fourth mythic, Neheb the Eternal. And we get a foil full art island. So that's not a bad pack. And then a full art forest behind it. Well, all right then. <laughs> Let's see what other kind of good stuff we can pull out of this. I'm getting kind of excited now. We have Hope Tender, Remin Up Ruins, Vile Manifestation, and Remin Up Hydra, and then a Full Art Mountain. We kind of, <laughs> this is, I, I haven't, uh, it's been a long time since I opened a box that had any form of pattern to it, so this is kind of cool. We have Sinuous Striker. Claim and Fame, Doom Diviner, and Imminent Doom, and a Fuller Swamp. Alright, we have Razaketh's Right, Chandra's Defeat, Saving Grace, and Angel of Condemnation, and then our Full Art Island. Alright, we have Quarry Beetle, Crook of Condemnation, Liliana's Defeat, and Solemnity. Solemnity. There we go, yeah. I pulled a foil one of these during pre release. It was kind of awesome. And a full art planes. 
All right, let's see, we got the next pack here. We got what, three packs left to go. So far, I'm not complaining about this box. Uh, first one opened up for the set, so bar's kind of low, though. All right, we have Imaginary Threats, Obelisk Spider, Overcome, and Earthshaker Kenra. And then we got our Full Art Forest. All right, we have Magma Roth, Vizier of the True, Vizier of the Anointed, and Hazret's Undying Fury, Fuller Mountain. Last pack. Let's see what we got here. We have Nissa's Defeat, Sunset Pyramid, Torment of Scarabs, and Reason and Believe. And then we got a full art swamp. So, not too bad. Nothing over the top, but not too bad. Um, I would like to know if any of uh, you guys had this issue, or I won't call it issue, just the pattern of um, all the lands being one after another. That was, I mean, you saw me pull them out of the box. I just put them in the stacks they came in. That entire third row was all full arts, which was kind of cool. So, um, to recap what we got here, um, I honestly don't know what prices are sitting at. Um, I've kind of glanced. I th I'm pretty sure that uh, Salmonity, Salam, Salmonity, Salmonity, whatever that happens to be, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. Um, but anyways, that's worth something because the whole counter thing. Um, Imminent Doom, I don't think uh, this guy seems like he could be something. Hollow one I think is pretty good. Um, I honestly don't know about uh, the rest of these. That, I see that becoming, if nothing else, EDH. Rona's Left Stand. Um, I'm kind of curious what you think his play is. Um, do you either put out turn two, a, you know, 5-4 beater, and then take the hit the next turn with your lands not on tapping, but you do a 5-4 swinging, or is he late game for when you know you simply need that one, um, another big creature and the the two lands you're spending on him really isn't that big of an of a deal. So I'm curious what you think about him. Um, Kefnet's last word. I don't know about that. And I said I honestly I I probably should have looked up a little more of a, a value before I started doing this. But Hour of Glory might be something. I don't know. Um, I know in standard, if the gods take off, that will be, yeah, that'll be a thing. Abandoned Sarcophagus, Swarm Intelligence, I don't think this is. Um, I honestly don't know about him. Amit, that guy's good. I don't care if he's expensive or not. He's an awesome card. Our Revolution, Revelation, uh, board wipes are always a thing. Um, refuse and Cooperate, I honestly don't know. Don't know. And Dream Stealer, um... He's a 1-2 that makes your opponent's discard. He does have the menace, so I guess that's good. Um, and then, for what we got over here, we did get the Foil Far Island. That's kind of nice. Foil Fervent Paincaster. The Foil Dream Stealer. Traveler's Amulet. amulet um, Ruminop Excavator. I believe that guy, that's going to be something there, I'm pretty sure. Torment of Venom. No idea. Merciless, Eternal, uh, that seems pretty good as a foil. Um, God, Pharaoh's Faithful, no idea. But for our Mythics, we did get Nehebit, the Eternal. Um, that guy's pretty good. Um, the Locust God and the Scarab God. I mean, all the gods are good. Um, I'm not sure which one I like the most. Um, I honestly think, this, personally, the Scorpion God I like a lot more. Um... But actual playability-wise, I think this is the guy that we're looking to. Um, and then we did get Overwhelming Splendor. So, yeah, that's what we got. Um, not a terrible box uh, in my mind. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you thought. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. That's always greatly appreciated. And you can always check us out on Facebook and Twitter, MTG.